Hi students, and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Mr. Hunter. Today we will investigate the question, what is land made of? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal, and let's get started. During our last lesson, we observed and described a local land sample from Yosemite National Park. We noticed that rocks can be a component of land. If rocks are a component of land, why do you think the local land sample from Yosemite looks different from these rocks? Well, the land sample from Yosemite contains other materials, such as silt and clay. It isn't just made of rock. And maybe the rocks at Yosemite are different from the rock we saw in our common land samples. Whoa, what is this? Is it a building? Well, I don't see a city nearby. Do you think this might be a very large rock? This is Devil's Tower National Monument. Devil's Tower is in the state of Wyoming. Let's look closely at this monument. Where do you think the rocks at the bottom of the tower came from? Hmm, I wonder if they slid down the side of the tower. Or maybe they broke off the big tower and fell. I wonder what Devil's Tower might look like if the rocks had not broken off. Wow. This picture gives me some new ideas about rocks. Maybe one big rock can break into smaller rocks. Or maybe rocks can go from being big to small. What do you think? Do rocks change? Give me a thumbs up if you think rocks do change or a thumbs down if you think rocks do not change. Today, we will investigate rocks together to answer this question. We will investigate rocks by carrying out two tests, a shake test and a scratch test. To perform the shake test, we will place each rock in a jar, shake the jar, and observe what happens to the rock. To perform the scratch test, we will scratch each rock against sandpaper and observe what happens to the rock. We will perform the shake test and the scratch test on four rocks, granite, sandstone, basalt, and pumice. Let's start with the shake test. I put each rock in a jar. Now it's time to shake them. Are you ready? Let's shake. Whoa, that's a lot of shaking. Let's dump out the rocks and see what happened. Wow, if you look very closely at each picture, you'll see some smaller pieces of rock. Most of the pieces are so small, they look like dust. The pieces that broke off the sandstone are larger than the pieces that came off the other rocks. Did the rocks change? Yes, the rocks did change. Now it's time for the scratch test. Are you ready? Let's scratch. Let's look closely at each rock to see if it changed. Hmm, did the rocks change this time? In what way did the rocks change? Did you say some smaller pieces or dust came off each rock? If so, great work but I see more dust next to some rocks than others. So what do you think? Do rocks change? Well, 
Well, let's think about the shake test. What did you notice about the rock samples after the shake test? I noticed some rocks broke into lots of small pieces, but some rocks didn't break much at all. And what about the scratch test? What did you notice about the rock samples after the scratch test? It was really easy to scratch off little pieces of some rocks. Other rocks were harder and didn't leave many little pieces. Some of the rocks looked smoother after we scratched them. So what do you think now? Do rocks change? Give me a thumbs up if you think rocks do change or a thumbs down if you think rocks do not change. If you gave a thumbs up, you are right. Rocks can change. During our last lesson, we learned that land has different components. Rocks, soil, and sand. I wonder if some smaller components of land, such as sand, come from bigger rocks. I also wonder if all the components of land are different sizes of rock. So how would you answer the question, what is land made of? Well, land can be made of lots of different materials, such as rocks, soil, and sand. The rocks that make up land can change by breaking into smaller components of land. Wow, this seems so important. We should begin an anchor chart to capture all our learning throughout this module. Think about what we learned so far about the composition and shape of land. Land is made up of rocks, soil, and sand and rocks can break into smaller pieces. Wow, we learned so much. Let's go back to Devil's Tower. Do you think the new information we learned can help us understand how Devil's Tower formed? We can see that this landform is made of rock. We can also see smaller pieces of rock broke off the tower. Even big rocks such as this tower can change. Let's review your task for today. First, choose two observations from the rock investigation to use as evidence and explain why each observation supports the claim. Second, fill in the blanks to update the anchor chart. Thanks for joining me on today's journey as we investigated rocks. Your task for today is to complete the Lesson 4 Science Journal. I'll see you next time.